what is up YouTube? We are here with another video on Slow Garage. It's a pretty big day for me. I've had a car for three years, the full bolt-on and tuned V6 Challenger, and I finally upgraded to a V8. I have a V8 um, RT charger. It's honestly quicker than I was expecting just because I'm used to V6 power, but like people who have scat packs and Hellcats be like, oh, that's pretty slow. But I do have huge potential with this car. I'm gonna be modding it a lot the first thing i'm gonna do is probably a pedal commander because it just there's a little lag on it and i like that on my v6 and then headers and intakes and stuff like that but i'll show you all this car and y'all be waiting around like and subscribe because there's going to be huge potential with this rt charger and the scat pack wide body 392 this is my new 2019 dodge charger rt i absolutely love it the black out is crazy honestly there's not very many exterior mods i need to do to this car it has wheels and tires it has 275s in the back so it's a little wider in the back it has a fender and it has an exhaust i'm not sure quite what the exhaust is um but it is pretty loud i'll do some sound clips and some <clears throat> auto start which i'm glad this car is auto start because that's what i really wanted on my v6 um, that's really cool the back is super clean i'll be getting a diffuser soon so that'll probably be the end of the back i like how there's the uh, the dodge they took out the dodge logo the fender looks good uh i don't think you can do dual exhaust tips i mean you can but you'd have to remove that but i want a diffuser there so the inside of the car is nothing special i do love the four doors the four doors is something that is going to help me in the long run because i do like drive my friends around and everything and like when i start a family when i'm older it'd be clutch because climbing in the back seat of that Challenger was was not fun. Um, but the inside is nothing special. It's just the cloth seats. I'm trying to get the Scat Pack like suede with like the RT logo on it. Not like the Scat Pack logo. logo. But other than that, this car is super clean. I'll give you all a little start up. So I'm not sure what exhaust it has. Uh, I know it's not a muffler delete. It has to be some form of exhaust, but it does sound pretty good. I'll do some sound clips for y'all. A couple sound clips, a couple pulls for y'all, just to like show y'all the new car, but I'm super excited with it. And quite frankly, I don't think my full bolts on a tuned V6 Challenger could beat an RT Charger. It just didn't put down enough power. But other than this, this does have 375 horsepower, which is not insane for a sports car with this being so heavy. So here shortly, I'll be doing plenty more mods to get that uh, horsepower up. And my goal, quite frankly, is probably everyone's RT goal is to beat a scat pack. And there's a scat pack on this channel. So we'll be doing a lot of, you know, RT scat pack stuff, RT V6 stuff, poles, all kinds of stuff. All right. I don't think I'll be doing much mods to the exhaust. I just showed all that sound clip, which it's not crazy loud. I mean, honestly, my my V6 Challenger was probably louder, but I mean, it was also raspy too. But like, this is just like a clean, I love the clean V8 uh, noise. But the only exhaust thing I'm gonna do is probably just headers. Um, I'll just do headers and then just for the full bolt-on because I couldn't have headers for my other car because they just like really didn't sell headers for the V6 and that's how boosted lucky blew up his car. Quite frankly, I love the charger. Um, I'll be doing videos on whether you should buy a challenger or a charger and right now I'm saying the charger because I love the charger. I'll be doing some pulls for y'all here in a second when I get on the main road just to show y'all the acceleration of this V8, which I love. My goal is to make this thing really fast. Like I have, I'm, I've been saving up. I have the funds to put money in this. Um, potentially the supercharger, the Hellcat supercharger, but I do need to do a lot more research on that because I quite frankly don't know much about all that. I'd have to do research, watch videos. But other than that, I'm super excited for this car and the future of this channel. Overall, I think this is a much better daily than the V6 
Challenger, even though the miles per gallon is absolutely terrible compared to my V6, which it's at 13, which isn't horrible, but it was at like eight, nine when I got it. So I've been trying to like get that up a little bit because I'm um, used to those V6 uh, miles per gallon. So that kind of sucks, but it's worth, it's worth it 100%. channel just go ahead and subscribe because we're almost at 2,000 subscribers and I think this year we have a potential to going crazy on YouTube so y'all stay tuned for that and thanks for watching